Hello everybody and welcome to a special little mini-series that I'm doing in the lead-up to the new Nuzlocke season that's going to be starting in just a few days on the 13th of August. This is just going to be a little series where each day, counting down to the Nuzlocke, we're going to be practicing as each of the characters that are taking part. As you guys might know already, it's called the Modlock, which means that we are using modded characters. We're going to be using Andromeda to and Tin Andromeda. Bertrand, the Deleted, and Arachna. So it's going to be a pretty interesting set of characters to use here. It's definitely going to be, um, definitely going to be a little bit of a challenge, I assume. People are going to have a hard time, especially those that haven't, um, messed with mods much in the past. There is also a few additional mods added, um, such as the Tainted Treasure Rooms, the Collection Collections mods, um, and a few things that change greedy mode, such as the ones we've been using recently on the regular series. Just to add a little bit of extra spice, that collection will be linked in the description um, so people can try out. But yeah, it's going to be a little bit less modded than our regular series because we didn't want to overload things, especially for those people that are participating that haven't played with those mods. So things like Ipecac, Repentance Plus are currently not on this series, but like I said, this will just be a little mini-series leading up to the Nuzlocke, and then we'll start the actual Nuzlocke itself. So none of the wins or losses that I get within this time will count. This is just a nice way for us to practice. And we're going to be jumping in to start off with Andromeda. Of course, we've seen this guy before. For people that haven't seen this character, people that may be new to the channel, new to this series, or new to this idea, um, I'd go take a look at my um, Who Is This series, my character showcase of this character, and also Slay as well. Ooh, planetarium off the bat here. That, that kind of hurt a little bit. Um, yeah, ooh, worm friend, nice. Uh, we could have gravity shifted that, but I will keep it. But yes, Slay also has uh, produced a video on Tainted Andromeda and Normal Andromeda. Um, and I think pretty much all the characters that we're showcasing uh, for the Nuzlocke, all the ones that we're using, he has showcases of. So if you want to go and take a deeper look, you can either watch my showcase videos or go and watch Slay's that are a little bit more in-depth into some of the mechanics. But we get a key off the bat here. We can go and check out a planetarium already, which is really nice. Very lucky to get a planetarium this early on. And honestly, I will take Luna. We're not using many of our um, tried and true uh, Andromeda, I don't know what you call them, Andromeda quirks with this gravity shift, but I don't think we need to right now. Basically, what we can do is we can gravity shift within rooms. That's a very nice pickup there to get. We can gravity shift within rooms uh, that have items to basically flip them into a different item or flip them into a different type of room and you'll we'll kind of see that as we progress here um but as you can see this guy starting off with anti-grav oh this guy's kind of tricky and tiny planet so definitely a more difficult character than some uh i will definitely buy a soul heart here we, we want to be trying this is practice for the nuzlocke for those of you that don't know what a nuzlocke is by the way those of you that aren't introduced to that please go and check out my video that should hopefully be posted before this if it isn't it'll be coming out just after this essentially explains the rules of a nuzlocke and um, i'll have a new one coming out that's going to briefly go over the characters and go over some of the new rules that we have set in place this time around and hopefully that should give you all a good idea of what we're doing here and yeah right now we're just having a few practice runs because for one there's some modded characters in there that i have myself haven't played all that much bertrand the deleted, I really haven't got too much time with them, so I think the deleted's going to be a really wacky one, because he's basically TM trained of the character. This guy, I think, is fine. Tint Andromeda's going to be really tough, and um, Arachna, I think Arachna's like the easy, easy character. We're going to go down. Right now, we're just going to go for a regular old win. We're just going to go for um, uh, Isaac win or something like that and see what we can do. We've got this explosive diarrhea here, so we can use it. Uh, in fact, I'll use it in this room here to try and get... Yeah, there you go, the secret room. I was hoping we'd maybe blow up some of these rocks as well and get some kills with that, but didn't quite work out. But yeah, this character, he's part of my regular series. You guys have seen him plenty of times before. He is just a fantastic modded character, but got quite a bit of difficulty to him. Um, Joker, very nice. But yeah, what we can do is we can gravity shift like in here. And because there's no items, it's not going to do anything. But if there's items, you get flips. It works in shops as well, I believe. But I believe it makes the items cost 30 cents. So it's not very useful in shops unless you have a lot of money. I'm very cautious about them barrels right there. You can also use it to stop your tears in place to create sort of a trap. Um, it, it holds them in place for a good amount of time. So if you get a nice bundle of tears sort of around you and then stop them, it can be a good way to get some 
uh, extra kills. Thought that'd be another secret room there. And secret rooms right now are super valuable because, I mean, extra loot's great, but also that fire rate is insane. We're definitely going to miss that if we don't end up getting it. So, like, enemies that chase, like, these guys, we can stop all of those there. Unfortunately, he didn't, uh, he didn't chase with much vigor there. Worm friend will deal with you. And we'll see if we want to use gravity shift in here. This is a perfect example. An item I don't really want. So we're going to gravity shift. And we get taken to a broken planetarium. And this time we got Pisces. This can give you various things. Sometimes not even items. Um, and they can be uh, very useful. They can be planetarium items. They can be uh, zodiac sign items. And like I said, some of them it can just be chests or just a bit of loot. Um, and it's essentially a way of sort of trading your way up to something that might fit your... Um, that might fit your character a little more as Andromeda. You want to be going for this Spur transformation, which is a transformation that this character has that essentially gives you the the, the powers of the stars. Um, and it's for collecting, I think, four planetarium slash zodiac items. We don't actually want to use either of those. We just want our half soul heart and our fire rate bonus. So this is a great boss for using gravity shift on. I probably won't go for the devil deal here. I'd rather take the angel deal. But Wormfriend's doing a great job right now. With the amount of fire rate as well, we can do that. There you go. Look at that. And Gravity Shift does recharge over time in the room, as you can see here. And I realize for some of you that have already seen this character many times that are regulars of my channel, this may be a little bit of an over-explanation. You guys maybe don't need this amount of detail. But there may be some new people, or there may be people that just haven't seen many of the Andromeda episodes. Uh, and also for myself, it's kind of nice to talk about some of the things we can do so I have them fresh in my memory and kind of... When we get to the point where we're actually playing this guy for real, we can remember them and try and do well because i i have to say in terms of the nuzlocke itself i do feel like i'm probably one of the weaker contestants in terms of the ability to stay alive just because i don't do that very often i tend to get myself killed regularly but on the other end of the spectrum I have the most experience out of anyone playing with mods. Not particularly all the modded characters, but with mods themselves. So I suggested a lot of the mods that we're using, like the collection collections. We were initially weren't going to have those, but I, I basically said that if, if we're going to call it mod lock, we have to have some modded items. And in my opinion, the collection collections are the most vanilla style um item packs in the game that don't add much else other than items of course there's the extra curses and the uh, reflected items but other than that it really is just purely items um so i think it's a really really good addition to add to, to just add a bit of extra modded content and it's like not so much that it's going to change the game too much either it's going to be a, a good amount i'm glad we're getting a lot of bombs here because it means that our secret rooms are way more viable here this is probably another good room to use um gravity shift to stop some tears from moving around but at the minute we've not really got the fire rate that we used to have so it's not as useful right now okay so let's pop that there pop in here yeah we really don't care about what's actually in the rooms it's all about getting the health and the fire rate let's check in here buy another soul heart just just to keep our health going we we, we really want to make sure when we're playing this uh character and especially the tainted version that we prioritize health health buying health in shops and and doing plays to get more health is going to be super valuable so i reckon i think angel deals are going to be the, the the mega meta um this time around i doubt many people are going to end up um optionally going for devil deals if we'd have been playing Mastema, it'd have been a bit different. We put it to a, a, a viewer vote. So BD1P on his trailer for his video put it to a vote. So um, that's why these characters have been selected. Some of the characters aren't my favourite. For example, Bertrand can be a little difficult with um, his synergies being a little difficult to find sometimes and being his main power source, as well as him being a controller-orientated character, which I don't normally play. But I'm still happy to, to give him a try, especially if the people want it. Kind of want to give people what they want. I just wish Mastema would have made the would have made the cut. I think he's such a fun character, really well made, and has a lot of risk reward, which I feel for a Nuzlocke is just kind of what you want, or at least what I'd want. I want to see people taking them risks to try and better their runs, to try and make sure they can kill Mega Satan or Delirium, but at the same time trading away all their HP or a lot of it to try and make that happen. Got a really itchy arm right now, and it's, it's not going well. Oh, God. But, yeah, so I know this is a bit different, and I've not really done any sort of these sort of style of things. I've done, like, a little mini-series, but I really wanted to to get 
some hype built for the Nuzlocke this time around. The Nuzlocke last year was a hell of a lot of fun. It helped all of our channels grow um, and really gave us, I don't know, just a lot a lot more of a sense of community among the Isaac creators that got involved, um, barring one person in particular, but we won't mention him. Um, yeah, uh, and it was a really nice way of getting a sense of community, and I think this time around having it a bit more... Having it a bit more, like, organized and having some extra modest stuff in there, it's going to make it a lot of fun. I just really wanted to get started with it and get involved. So, Holy Water is another good one, but I am going to shift again. And unfortunately, it didn't really pay out. But we got two hearts, which I'm pretty happy with. I just... Holy Water's good, but when we're, re we're rarely directly shooting at any enemy. It's not often that we are aiming directly at the enemy we're shooting at. So, I feel like Holy Water, while good could go a little uh, underutilized here um right let's keep a moving oh one thing i need to just do quickly cool well but we're good we're, we're good to go i was just uh, messaging bd1p because i just had the thought we really need to add a rule to the nuzlocke which hasn't been done yet to make sure everyone's donation machine starts with zero coins because we are using a dead god save file this time around um so i i feel like Having a dead cod save file with like a really full donation machine would be a bit cheesy. So I think everyone starting out with a with an empty one would be the best way to go, really. Good, good. Oh damn. Obviously we'll be playing on a different save file than the one that we're on right now when the Nuzlocke comes around. I'll be making a new one for it. But I've got that prepared and ready. We don't have to worry about that. We got Golden Flakes, which is a pretty good grab for us here. Could even give us a Golden Pill. Kind of risky. Ooh, Sacred Orb. Very nice. I guess we could try this. Just just now that we've got Sacred Orb, we're likely to get like a pretty good run going on here. It's nice to be able to hit this guy without uh, worrying. Worm Friend there doing just so much work for us. We love to see it. But yeah, it's kind of interesting to play with with a lot less mods than normal. I will say one thing that's a a huge positive is the frame rate is just ooh, it's buttery smooth. Um, should, should we pop this a few times? We got a few range downs there, which I don't think matters with this guy too much. I don't know how much range affects this dude really. Unfortunately, we're not doing so well with this golden pill right now, I will say. Okay, it's gone. That was that was pretty awful. We lost a lot of range, we lost some speed, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> we do have another Joker card backlogged here. I'm kind of keeping that. But it's nice to have now because we have um, Sacred Orb. Very good, very nice. I'm trying to get myself up to... Um, up to 30 cent so we can go and utilize the shop and we just did that very nice we can go and utilize the uh the gravity shift in the shop which i think is always a, a fun little trick to uh employ because it allows you to get items from other pools i believe but it only gives you one choice so and it does remove everything else in the shop okay so let's bomb this i would like some more bombs please It's not more bombs, but I'll take it. The extra fire rate. The, the fact that the first secret room gives you plus one is kind of insane. But yeah, one thing that's really interesting about this character as well, which we didn't actually get to see this time around, is if you go into an item room and then use your uh, gravity shift to change it into an abandoned planetarium, it actually won't count as you having entered that item room, and therefore it will still increase your planetarium chance. So this guy has a much, much, much higher chance of getting a planetarium along the way than most other characters. He also has the telescope lens, which gives him the ability to find planetariums on the womb and further, and gives him the ability to find more than one planetarium in a run, which is very, very important for us. We still only have a 10% chance right now, so our chances aren't, aren't crazy high. It's still good to know. Health-wise, health-wise things are going fantastically on this run. We've really got something special going on. Uh, and then in here, okay, so this this might not work because it didn't spawn an item. I think it has to spawn an item to function, the way that I was uh, mentioning before, but we'll see. Honestly, Worm Friend is the best for this character. Because it's, like, with Tiny Planet, it's kind of hard to, like, line things up and hit everything correctly. But we're really not having that issue too much anymore. 
So I'll try it out. It might spawn something. Let's gravity shift. Yeah, unfortunately, an item has to spawn in the room for that trick to work. But we got unlucky. We got unlucky. Unlucky Chucky. Crack these guys open. We're just looking for our item room at the minute. Uh, I'll probably gravity shift here and create a little bit of a trap. Didn't work particularly well, but got a few of them. We can also, like, use our tears as contact damage, but it's a little risky with enemies that do deal, deal full heart damage, I've got to say. Right, so let's let's get ourselves in, like, a corner here, and then uh, probably not hit. That's, that's not the best. Like that. These guys are regaining fast. We really need to finish them off once we drop them. And that's proving to be rather difficult. But we managed to do it eventually. Just took some time. Okay, we don't want these guys to create too many flies here. I think my pretty fly saved me from damage there, you know. I think I got pretty lucky with that. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. I think also another caveat to the shop um, the shop gravity thing is you can't buy anything from the shop before you do it. If you buy anything, it just won't work. So even though we have all this money, it won't be useful to buy things from the shop and then flip. We have to flip first. Okay. Let's try and find that item room before we skedaddle skadoodle. I also kind of want to use my Joker card on this floor, but I'm scared it'll take me to a Devil Deal, which honestly wouldn't be terrible at this point. We have the health to facilitate, but I still would rather go Angel Deal at this point, because I think Angel Deal with Sacred Orb is better than Devil Deal with Sacred Orb. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Are the um, Tier 3 and 4 items better in the Devil Deal pool or the Angel pool? I feel like it's Angel, right? I feel like Angel has the better ones in that regard. Okay, unfortunately these enemies are a little annoying, but Worm Friend is on the case yet again. Unfortunately as well, we have gone every which way apart from towards our item room, so we have to trips all the way back over there to see if we can get it. Good thing is, even if it's something bad, which I doubt because we have Sacred Orb, but even if it is something bad, we can gravity shift and just see what else we can get. That guy was... Uh, a little bit too close for comfort. These enemies are really difficult as this character. Any enemy that chases, I feel, can be a real pain. Because, like, they're just reforming so easily. And this is why Worm Friend is big best pal. He stole my gravity well, you bastard. No, I'm not that it actually matters. Okay, stay out of line with these guys. Make sure the flies don't get pooped towards us because they do a little bit sometimes, as you can see. Mom's wig, random time to spawn a blue fighter when shooting a shot. We're shooting quite a lot of shots right now. I feel like that works quite well. It also looks just cute as a button. So that's definitely a bonus. Uh, I don't know where our next secret room could be. Honestly, here's a pretty good shout. Unfortunately, I was incorrect. I'm not sure where else we could be looking. I'm not going to fret about it too much, though. Well, health is looking fine. Fire rate's also good for the boss now. As long as I get the one fire rate up, I'm not really bothered about the rest. If I can get the rest, then I'll take them. Okay, we actually are spawning a good amount of spiders here, so that's that's nice. I say good amount, but we spawn too pretty fast. The amount of shots that we fire is uh, going to lead to hopefully quite a few. We can also do um, a little bit of chase with this guy if we just get rid of the maggots real quick. Ooh, lots of spiders there. Yeah, we can go, like, let's, let's wait until he charges us. Okay, there you go. And then do that, and he'll just charge into the whole shebang of shots. Very nice. Angel deal? No angel deal. I guess I'll try this, but I think it's going to take me devil. I did get angel, and we got stairway, which is amazing for us. Okay, we're probably going to take some damage here. Didn't mean to spend that key, obviously. Like I said, I was probably going to um, get some damage hits here, but I'm not too worried, I'll be honest. My damage isn't great, but 
Yeah, we both probably got the best angel deal we could have possibly got there because the item's really good because we have a lot of money, but also just having four choices when you have Sacred Orb gives you such a high chance of getting something high value. Okay, this guy is creating babies and they are inconvenient as all hell. Thank God for this goddamn pretty fly. Pretty fly is clutch, you know. And worm friend too. I I I'll, I will keep on sending my praises towards that small boy, but he is absolutely doing an amazing job right now. So we leave through here, um, and then just remember to go up through our stairway. I was like, where's my stairway? And I realized it's on the next floor. You fool. We also got it early enough for it to make a big difference too. So right off the bat, why not grab that? Um, I'll also grab that too. We do have a tainted treasure room guy there. I'll leave him for now. Good thing is as well, we have a near infinite supply of money with the amount of golden hearts we currently have. The um, golden flakes is such an interesting item because it can be so good or so meh. Like, because the thing is, like, you can get, like, a golden pill, one golden heart, a golden trinket, whatever. But sometimes you could just get, like, one or two golden hearts if you've not got great health. Good. We really need to get in there as quickly as possible to get a fire rate going. Ow! So annoying when you do that, when you accidentally knock enemies into yourself. We are losing a bit more health than I'd like to admit, but remember we're going to get a bit back for going into these rooms. Oh god, one of my secret rooms. A very difficult one as well. Gotta be a little careful. But you do get two soul hearts for it though, so... Definitely a spicy room. Yeah, as I said as well, one of one of the other mods that is enabled is my secret room mods. Uh, Neonomi actually was the one that suggested adding those. I didn't even think to add them to start with, so... Very happy to see that people want to see those. I really am proud of those mods. They've done very well. We can also tap shoot. Although it's just not... It's effective, but it's just not quite... I don't know. It, just, it doesn't vibe well with me. It doesn't feel right. Really, really like having flight here. We definitely need a damage up. That's that's our next big thing here. Right now, I'd, like it's fine, our damage, just because we have the fire rate to like burst it and kind of make it do okay. But it's, it's not great right now. We, we really are having a bit of a struggle with this. You hit me with that little tongue. What, the, what that tongue do? We also have penetration up on as well for killing these enemies while they're shielded. Body in a box, I will take. Why not? Wait, I just need to test this. Yeah, gravity shift doesn't work if you buy an item. I just had to make sure that that was the truth. I was pretty sure it was, but I had to make sure. I kind of need to wait for worm friend to latch onto someone before I start going in on the offensive with this with these enemies specifically. Okay, nice. I fear I've gone the wrong way for the item room yet again and it's gonna be miles away. Then two rooms that are back over where we spawned just look prime for the item room for me. Careful. Good good. Oh, no, we uh, we got away with that. Nice one. You've got to be careful pushing enemies around here. The brimstone beams, so you don't want to push them into yourself. Ipecac. Mmm. <laughs> that, that's damage. I feel like that would be pretty bad. But I'm a risk taker. These are the sort of risks that I cannot take when we're um, when we're playing the actual Nuzlocke. But while we're in a situation where I'm okay to take it, I'm gonna do it because I'm a mad lad. I also think that tap shooting is gonna be almost a must with this guy. I think that uh, yeah, anything other than tap shooting is gonna get us in big trouble. <laughs> We need to be firing one tier at a time and making sure it hits. I'm hoping we get Herming. We got Spirit Sword, which... 
I don't know how that works. Right, sorry about that. Let's carry on. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I want to take Spirit Sword. I feel like this run is I don't know. It's got some spice to it, and I kind of like that. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to kill myself, but... One problem I'm having here is because I've got... Um, I can't remember the name of it now. That, I that item that makes you fire two tiers sometimes. I'm firing two tiers sometimes, which seems risky. I mean, it's actually not too bad at the moment, I'm noticing. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, that's... That's deadly. Yeah, Gu Guppy's head is insane here. Because the them flies are going to deal insane damage, right? I, I, I can't remember. Does it still work that way? Or... No, they're not dealing crazy damage. Not dealing Ipecac damage. They're still dealing good damage, though, by the looks of it. <laughs> oh, my God. This is nutty. I don't even know how I'm meant to hit this guy. But... Yes, why not? I might just wanted the fire rate, but then I kind of realized the fire rate's not really a good thing for us, is it? But yeah, this is the sort of thing that during the actual Nuzlocke, I really can't be risking. Also, I might need to use an actual bomb to open this secret room because I genuinely don't think I can do it with that. It's kind of funny. That is funny. Okay, let's open this up. So this time around, let's gravity shift. And there you go. It gave us an item for sale. Unfortunately, it's an item that we don't want. But pretty interesting. If I didn't have a lot of money, I'd definitely buy that because it'd make um, it'd make our thingy um, the ladder just way better. But we have a lot of money right now, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Holy lord! Why am I having such trouble finding my item rooms? It's always the last thing I find. This is—I actually can't believe how effective this is and how non-detrimental this has been to me thus far. I really thought I'd be, like, hitting myself constantly, and I actually haven't hit myself with an explosion once yet. Which, yeah, just kind of baffles me a little bit. I should be using Guppy's head on, um, whenever it's ready as well, which I'm not doing right now. There's that item room. I think I'm going to gravity shift that. Unfortunately, not super useful, especially considering we already have a lot of HP. But, I didn't really think that, um, having Sad Onion would be super useful for us. Had we have got it before we got Ipecac, then yes, it would have been pretty good. But right now, not so much. Anyways, we plow forward, we keep going. Oh, for God's sake, I forgot that was there. Okay, so hopefully with the explosions plus the Apollyon soul, yeah, we'll demolish her and that's exactly what happened. I'll check this out because why not? Um, I think we only, we only have soul heart HP as this character, so taking nine lives is a very bad idea. But I will take this though. Because that'll, yeah, that'll give us a lot of damage. It guarantees a curse of floor, but it gives us a lot of damage. Which helps our flies, and it helps just generally. Killing bosses and stuff. Check out stairway here. That could be disastrous. <laughs> um, fires additional shots once we get hit. Up to a maximum of like seven, I think it is. It's going to be kind of crazy. <laughs> We do indeed have the um, the curse on, the curse of conquest. We'll be very careful about being hit on these floors. I th honestly, I think it might be I might be best off just letting my flies do most of the work. I think that could genuinely be a very effective method for the most part. What the tier height is insane. <laughs> That's one thing I'm really noticing about this. The tier height that we have right now is is bonkers. 
Okay, that's the first time I've hit myself. I feel like Minora is going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy, to be honest. I fire more shots, therefore I'm at higher risk of hurting myself. Therefore, I fire more shots. <laughs> and it's just going to go round and round and round. The, the tier height is just nutty. I, I don't really know what's going on with the tier height. Why is it fire? I, th I think it's because Ipecac fires an arc shot. And so it's just, it's doing that a lot. Is there, like, I, is there any real way to aim this? I genuinely have no idea. That was, that guy came at me with some speed. I have zero idea if I'm ever going to hit anything. Zero. I, I'll hold on to that because it might be useful. I, I'm, I, I am genuinely quite worried that we're going to lose this run because of this heathenous decision. But I, I can say, I can say with, I wouldn't say complete certainty, but I can say with a good amount of certainty that I think we'd have won this run if I hadn't have taken if I can. And I only took it because we're in practice and I know I can. Regularly, I would not have done this. <gasps> Dumpy could be our saviour. Although, you're going to say, you have to get gone. Dumpy could be our saviour. I don't know if he protects us against our own explosives. That is one issue. He might not. I think now we're firing five Ipecac shots per shot. So we can need to get really close to the enemy and then fire, which seems really counterintuitive, but it seems to be the, the, the only method right now that, that is reliable. It does unfortunately still hurt me though. Dumpy cannot save me from my own stupidity. Yeah, this is bananas. What the hell? <laughs> Oh god, we're gonna die. Remember when we were confident in this run? Remember those days? <clears throat> I wish we could have taken nine lives. It could have been pretty useful. Oh god. Lump of coal. Shit. <laughs> Lump of coal is not, not the best idea with this. Because it's going to mean... Hi, I don't know if it increases explosion radius at all, to be honest, but I feel like it could. I have to check. Does Ball of Tears fire our tears? It does. It most certainly does. That is ridiculous. Okay, our fire rate is so bad that I actually think Ball of Tears would be a waste of time. But it's kind of nutty to find out that that actually works like that. Right. Beeline it to the boss, wherever you may be. Very hard to hit you, sir. <laughs> Justice. This is just the silliest, but I love it. <laughs> oh, there's a single fly. Single fly is problematic. Oh, for God's sake, I went the wrong way. I said about going there as fast as I could. The game said no. Room breaks my brain a little bit. Oh my God. Oh my God. How did I not get hit there? My fire rate is so slow that it didn't let me fire when I got in that room then. Honestly, Guppy, Guppy's head is is the main thing keeping us afloat. Without that, I think we'd be in a uh, big problemo town. I like the way that there's like a good portion of the tiers that just like go so high up that they just zoom off of the screen. Now, a full run reroll would probably be a good choice right now. It would probably be a good choice right now, but that does not mean I'm going to do it. 
This is very, very nice. <laughs> this is... This is so, so nice. Unfortunately, I can't actually get the, um, the beam of light to get the extra set, uh, half soul heart. I will take this because my fire rate is horrible, and also killing these bosses will be very, very quick. I'm hoping not to get hit here, but I cannot guarantee anything. Everything's so close to me that I feel like when I fire, I'm just going to have a great chance to just hit myself. Luckily, Dumpy saved me. <laughs> oh, the stuff you can do with this character. Okay. That was, uh, that worked. <laughs> Look at that, look at that. Oh my god. Don't know why I even bothered coming into this room. This is obviously a wrong way. Okay, Minora is at full kilter now. It is firing the maximum amount of shots per. And it is quite a sight to behold. I like the way that we have the minimum shot speed and yet our, our shots zoom around the room at a thousand miles an hour for some reason. Lucky Penny, why not? Menorah is is extinguished, which is probably a blessing in disguise, I'll be honest. Uh, we'll take... Once per room, when damage down to half a heart, you gain one soul heart. Mm, not really super useful. I'll do this too. Oh, End of Souls isn't, isn't good. That was a waste, a big waste. Two soul hearts and a broken heart, that cost me. Holy Mantle. That is probably, probably the thing that gets us a win, I think, here. Or, or at least very close to, because, yeah. That was kind of necessary. Keeper's Box. Keeper's Box is kind of interesting. I, I wish it had, like, payouts based on the room that you're in. Rather than just completely, like, random or just shop stuff. But yeah, unfortunately now we don't have as many tiers going off at once. We kind of have to aim, which is a little sucky. Okay, we lost our Holy Mantle instantly on this room. Thank you, Dumpy, for being the best little lad ever. Just stand on top of him. Dumpy is another another huge get. We, we can't understate enough how good Dumpy is. This, this is why I don't think I'm going to win, though. Because... I'm going to play like this. <laughs> I, I'm obviously, I'm going to try not to as much, but I know that I'm going to make some really, really ballsy and dumb decisions that cost me a character. Because with, with a Nuzlocke, once a character's dead, we can't get any more completion marks. That All those points that we didn't get are locked off from us forever. Like, we can't get them back. So, a, a, a cock-up, especially one that's caused by me being an absolute goober myself and, like, doing something like this... Is huge, so I need to make sure not to do this sort of stuff and be a bit more chill. I mean, one thing I can say about this run is Ithacac has made the run significantly better damage-wise, and we've been really... It's, it's made a big difference to the uh, DPS that we can output. It really has. Thank you, Dumpy, for saving me three times in that room. Yeah, we're clearing rooms super quick, so maybe maybe with the, the base damage we did have, it wouldn't have been this easy. And we would have had a harder time, but still the danger that it's introduced is too high a risk to take in the actual Nuzlocke itself, I think. And I think it's going to be my downfall. This is problematic. I can't really get close enough to this guy. Okay, he destroyed my holy mantle. So I'm, I'm having somewhat of a hard time landing shots. Now, I have been hit, which means Menorah is uh, doing its thing. One thing I haven't really considered is how good gravity shift would be with this setup. I don't think very. I think it could cause more problems than it solves, I'll be honest. 
There you go. We managed to make that work. We get one more go of the stairway to give us something brilliant. And it didn't really. It gave us the mind, which... Honestly, I don't even think it's worth buying. I'd rather just pop a holy card for an extra holy mantle. And be on my way. That's a bit sad. Plus one familiar. Familiar is... Um, spawn familiar when taking damage. Nice. We got King Baby. Sigil of Knowledge. Rather nice. Um, I think we should try and try out, uh, out these secret rooms. To be fair, we want to be trying to do Blue Baby as well here. So let's do that. My character looks so cool right now. We lost both our holy mantles now. We can be a bit more aggressive in smaller rooms where we know that it's not going to be a huge issue. Ow. Okay, so boss is actually pretty darn close. Can go for boss. Pretty early on here. I've gotten... I feel like I've gotten a rhythm with this thing now. I'm actually, like, not too bad at, at how to hit enemies. With the angles that we're getting given. Like, look at that. That's not too bad at all. Also, no eternal enemies is uh, quite a difference. That's, that's actually one thing that I probably should um, should mention. Is that I have been playing on a harder version of the game, really. That I kind of created myself, cracking myself with bosses with boss armor. And all that sort of shenanigans and stuff. So, maybe I'll be more well-versed at the base game difficulty you now. This guy's going down fast. He's been taken care of. And then we're going to try Mega Satan. I feel like it's going to be a little risky just because of the, the, like the distance, the closeness we have to get to the enemy. Maybe the fact that we have 3.54 range isn't helping. But there you go. Let's pop in here and see how this goes. It might not be great, but we'll see. Okay, that, that's our thingy gone already. Holy Mantle, which is doesn't bird well. I've hit myself already there. Menorah's going to keep getting a bit crazier and crazier as we go on. Yeah, I think I might have made a mistake here. I think I might die. It's the sort of thing that we can't... We can't be risking. If we don't think we can do it. If there's any chance that we can't do it, we don't do it. Ah, that's why. I was like, why am I taking so much damage here? And I mean, my own shots are doing a good amount of damage to me, but... The fact that I didn't have Dumpy on board is very bad. Oh my god. Okay, I activated Sprinkler, which I feel is awful. <laughs> I feel that, that is not good in any sense of the word. Okay, he is not taking anywhere near as much damage as I was hoping he would have by now, and I am hitting myself a lot. I, I pretty, I'm pretty sure we're burned here. Pretty sure we're burned. Yeah, that's another hit for me. I just keep taking damage and I don't even know what's going on anymore. I spawned a lot of familiars. That's that's good. What hit me that time? We have three hearts to beat him and I can't even... There's explosions going off everywhere. Yeah, these sort of attacks are going to be balls to the wall. We're going to have to utilize Dumpy as much as humanly possible. we got double Dumpy right now, which could help. Honestly, the double dumpy is the only thing keeping me alive right now. Okay, now I just have to survive this onslaught of shit. I did it. I did it. That was kind of incredible. The fact that we lived through that is amazing. And yeah, he lives to fight another day. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this crazy episode. It won't quite be as risky as that when we get to the real series. Because that would be uh, 
yeah, that'd be, that'd be, would, would be great. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys enjoy the future uh, characters in the countdown to the mod lock. I hope you guys are excited for the series. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully we do well. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.